Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In this video, we are going to learn the most important concept of React Native with TypeScript is passing a property or props to a functional component. So in this video, I will discuss about functional component and in next video, I will discuss about class component. So whichever component you want to use, you can use and we will learn how we can use functional or class component to pass the properties. For that, I need to create a new component. So I give the name here. I create this. I give the name here that props function dot TSX. Remember that it's a TSX. So here I say R and FES because it's a functional component. So we have this functional component and I need to uh, remove this previous one image one and I give here props props fun this component I want to use and I remove the previous one I remove this one save this you see we have props fun as a component on top of this here in this component I want to pass some property from the app component so uh, in a normal TypeScript application, just we write here props and we are able to use that prop. Suppose I pass, if suppose I pass here some message. So I say here that I am passing some message msg and I write this message that uh, this is props in React native with TypeScript. For example, this message i want to pass here and i save this and you will see that here and we have the error here directly we can't use this so i just pass here this message i say props dot msg here and i need to give this under this i save this you see this message is coming here because this version of react with typescript 0.771 does not stop to work without the data type but you see there is a warning and problem is there that we are passing any here in a props function you see problem is here so how we can remove this warning or error because this is warning in this current version but maybe in future version they will strictly follow the typescript rules so typescript rules say that whatever you are providing here as a property you have to mention the type of this for that i create here type i say props type here and in this type i say i am going to pass the message of string type remember that and that i am telling to this that i want props type you see now this error is gone you see that i just mentioned here the one property of msg type the message type i am going to pass and this property I mentioned here type of this and here I'm using you see after that after props if I click then automatically it will show that message is going to become now one more thing here that suppose one more property I want to pass here suppose I want to pass one more property here I say uh, count for example this property I want to pass and give here the value 20 for example this count i am passing here as a integer value or number and i save this the count property you see it's showing an error why because in typescript this property of count i am using here but i did not mention this property here so it's showing an error if i am going to use it you see if suppose i display this count here so i need a uh, props dot count so count is not coming here you see count is not coming here i save this so it displaying 20 but it's showing an error that this is not exist right now remember that this uh, react native uh, typescript version is 0 0.71 that is first time they introduced typescript as a default template so this template is not strictly following the rule of typescript but in future it will strictly count, count that you are using typescript so you can't ignore the type so that's why here i need to pass count also and i have to give the data type of this is a number and save this you see now this error is gone and this error is also 
gone from here but what about uh, when i want to pass uh, some children from this props you see suppose i this component i use and i does not close this component but i close this component here i say i close this component here right this way and i want to pass some other component like text component or some other component within this so i say uh, i am children component i am children component in props fun okay you see this text i am going to pass so it is saying again error because this is not mentioned this element is not mentioned remember that i want to use this child also so how i can use i can use it uh, uh, like i say under this i say props children you see that children it not coming here why because it not mentioned but if i say props dot children here and i save this you see i am a children component in props fun is coming so it is coming but it's showing a warning error also that it is not available so how we can remove this we doesn't know data type of this so this data type is so i say children which is you are passing from the app component that is the by default data type that is available in react native is jsx element so this element we are passing and i save this you see this error is gone and again you see here is also error is gone no error because this as a child component we are passing and this children which i am passing here i have explained to this this is a children which is going to become of element type remember this it is a one way to do this we have a second way also uh, for example i want i don't want to mention here so i make it comment like this again it will show error you see so here i can use props props with children you see when property is coming so i say props with children this property i can use like this way and i save this it's a very very simple i say props with children you see like this way automatically this is gone and we have to mention it like this so this props with children will automatically assign the children to the element property like this way so these are the two way by which you can pass the properties and plus you can pass the children to this functional component so here i explain you that how you can use you can create component how you can pass the properties to this component how you can pass the children also child of this component and using functional component that's all in this video if you like it please do subscribe thank you for watching this video